All right, y'all, so shout out to Crypto Bro, but everyone who's been worried about BitForex and who's wanted an update, who's wanted to know what's actually going on with BitForex, what's happening, what's next steps and things like that, we have official news of what is actually going on right now. And it's thanks to the community, actually. It's thanks to a lot of people actually reaching out and trying to figure out what's happening. So yeah, let's just jump into it, y'all. Um, drop the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and all of that stuff to stay updated with everything else. Let's get it. So yeah, um, Crypto Bro, um, shout out to him for um, uh, doing this, um, giving us this update. He said, BitForex update. The Hong, the Hong Kong authorities are now investigating BitForex for fraud. The listed BitForex office addresses in Hong Kong are linked to virtual address companies and office addresses that do not exist. Since the shutdown, 70 million has been transferred out of the exchange. The reported 57 million amount accounts for only one wallet. However, there are several more. Securities and Futures Commission warn of suspected fraud and BitForex been added to the flagged exchange list. So BitForex has officially been added to the flagged exchange list for, for the um, SFC. Authorities are working to take down BitForex social media pages, the BitForex site, and the BitForex support website. Um, Jason Lau, the former CEO of BitForex, is still listed as the director and sole shareholder of BitForex. There is a lot more information. However, these are some main points you may be interested in. So as you can see, here's the, this is an update from Crypto Bro. There is more. He actually linked to the official article. So we're going to go there next. <sighs> okay, so here we go. The SFC warns the public of BitForex for suspected virtual asset related fraud. The Securities and Futures Commission, Commission today warned the public of suspected virtual asset fraud involving a purported virtual asset trading platform operating under the name of BitForex. BitForex purportedly headquartered in Hong Kong has neither been licensed by the SFC nor applied to the SFC for a license to operate a VATP in Hong Kong. It has come to the SFC's attention that victims have experienced increasing difficulties over the past few days in withdrawing assets from the platform under the guise of wallet and website maintenance. Victims are now reporting that the, I mean, I guess people are officially victims now. But um, yeah, victims are now reporting that the website of BitForex has been shut down, thus preventing them from accessing their own accounts and withdrawing assets held within BitForex. The SFC posted BitForex and its websites on the suspicious virtual asset trading platform alert list on March 4th, 2024. So two days ago, this happened. At the, F at the SFC's request, the Hong Kong police force has taken steps to block access to relevant website links and take down relevant social media pages. Once again, the SFC warns investors to be wary of the risk of trading virtual assets on unregulated VATPs. Um, investors may risk losing their entire investment held on the platform if it ceases operations, collapses, is hacked, or otherwise suffers from any misappropriation of assets. If in doubt about the licensing status of any VATP, please refer to the SFC's list of licensed virtual assets trading platforms. So this, we have a list of what's been approved, a list of what's been approved and a list of what's not approved. So yeah, BitForex has never been approved. It is now under investigation officially. The SFC is involved and also the police are now involved. Um, now, uh, Crypto Bro actually made another tweet just to add some clarity that BitForex, um, the Hong Kong regulators stated that they are acting in response to receiving multiple complaints about the exchange, not because BitForex was shut down for breaking any local laws or regulation. So this this happened because a lot of people has have been reporting them, trying to figure out information, trying to see what's going on. So, I mean, we have no information on what's going on, but obviously... We know, we know what's going on. We we know they they just basically rug pulled everybody. It's it's legitimate. And what's crazy is the other day, 
I had somebody sitting here arguing, trying to argue with me. I didn't even really engage in this foolishness. But somebody's trying to argue that, oh, BitForex wasn't wasn't uh, fraudulent. BitForex wasn't a scam. I'm like, what? So everything that happened up before the point that they were, they scammed everybody, they were legitimate at that time. Then they became the scam? No, you're either a legitimate exchange or you're a scam or you're a fraud. That's It don't matter if you've had a few correct, like a few legitimate transactions and stuff like that where you did what you were advertising that you would do. Obviously, it all led up to this moment where you screwed everybody, making you a scam. It That's like, that's like every cheater at the point where Every time, every no matter what happens before, you're a cheat. Like you, you were innocent up until the point where you cheated this one time. You, you were innocent way, but like no, if you're cheaters cheat, it don't matter if it's inside of you to cheat and do wrong. You're going to cheat and do wrong. That that's just what it is. It don't matter how long you play innocent. If it's in you to be a cheater, you're going to cheat. That's just what it is. So it don't matter how long it takes for your true colors to be revealed. True colors get revealed. That's what it is. So the true colors of this platform has been revealed and they are a scam platform. They are now officially under investigation and hopefully the community can see some um, see some of their, I don't know. I, I don't even know what's the best case scenario. I feel like, I don't know if the SFC would actually give, um, give some of the tokens back or stuff like that, give some of the assets back to the people and the wallets that they came from or they belong to. I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't even know how they would go about getting that back. There's just so much, so much confusion around this type of topic, man. So much confusion. I don't really actually know all the steps that they could potentially take to even, even rectify the situation, make good to all the investors who's lost all this money. But let's look at a little bit of the feedback. Um, he asked, um, Patient Hodler asked for sources. He always asks for sources. So shout out to Patient Hodler. He was on one of those other messages that I saw. Oh, where the dude said that um, everything was okay. Um, he was on that asking for, uh, excuse me, bro, your boy tired. Patient Hodler, he was, he was on that asking uh, for proof as well. What info you got for the 70 million transferred out? The wallets they transferred out to after the exchange was shut down. We suspect they also transferred out prior to shutdown, although it's much harder to prove and not include it in the figure. Is there a way to recover the funds? Um, what a nightmare for David and his Omi Moon Boy gang. Um, let's see. Let's see what he says. Is there a way to recover the funds? Let's see what people say on this one. Not looking good. Maybe if you get them back in a year or three, the price will have changed dramatically to the upside. Best case. Uh, he said 2030, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty much looking like a loss for everyone. But, I mean, maybe some justice somehow gets served where, uh, yeah, maybe some justice gets served where they they find the people who are behind all of this stuff and they, and they get in trouble. But as far as people getting their money back, I mean, I know a lot of people probably don't even care about them getting in trouble. People just want their money back. But... That doesn't look like that's going to happen, but it may. I mean, I don't know if the SFC does some stuff like that once they, if they find something in their investigation and they find the company to be guilty and all that, I don't know how that's going to go, but I would assume that this is going to take a long time to accomplish. So yeah, that being said, man, I would just chalk it up to an L, which I've said multiple times, but this is an official update. They are officially under investigation. And this thanks to you all. So, yeah, shout out to y'all. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. Um, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.